Hello viewers, welcome back again to our history class and it is your history teacher Roger Michira who will be taking you through history and the topic of discussion today is United Nations and in United Nations we get to the organs of the United Nations and in today's class we get to Secretariat. Just to remind you, we have, ja we have, we have already discussed two organs of the United Nations. We have looked at the General Assembly right, which is the World Tent Meeting. Then we have looked at the, one of the powerful organs of the UN, which is the United uh, Nations Security Council and our class. Today we'll get, to, we'll get to the Secretariat as an organ of the United Nations. Now the, 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 the station you're watching is Elimu TV, where you get to watch and learn. Let us welcome all and let us learn. Now, what do we expect at the end of the lesson? We expect that we'll be able to state the duties of the Secretariat as an organ of the United Nations. Sorry for that, uh, the hiccup. Sorry for the hiccup. It, is a, it was a small error there. So we are getting to look at the duties of the Secretariat as an organ of the United Nations. Now, we must first get to know that the Secretariat is headed by the Secretary General, right? the secretary is headed by the secretary general and the CG or the secretary general holds a term of five years, which again is, which again the secretary general can be, can be re-elected, right? But again, we'll get to look at who are some of these secretary generals we have been having for the last, uh, uh, past years since it is, uh, it, when, it's, it, when, it's, when it was put to place. Now, another thing you must realize that the secretary is made up of 25,000 men and women from more than 160 countries, right? The Secretariat is made of 25,000 men and women from more than 160 countries. And who is the Secretariat answerable to? We must know that the Secretariat is answerable to the United Nations only. Now, what, is, what are the duties of the Secretariat? One, it brings attention of the Security Council any problem that threatens international peace, right? So it is the one that informs the Security Council. Remember, that is the secretary to the UN nations, right? So is the secretary to all the organs. So the Secretariat informs the Security Council of any problem that is threatening international peace. Good. And also, it administers peacekeeping operations and immediate international disputes. That is why I told you in 2007, 2008, uh, post-election violence in Kenya, it was the Secretary General of the UN, the late Kofi Annan, who was sent to Kenya, right? So it is the one that administers peacekeeping operations, and in this case, yeah, mediate international disputes. Rude. Another duty of the Secretariat is that it surveys economic and social trends and problems, right? What, how, how is the economic trends in these member states, right? Do they need another help, right? Do they need financial support? Good. That's the work of the Secretariat. It gets to survey economic and social trends and problems. And also, it, it, organizes, it organizes international conferences on issues of worldwide concern. For example, when we have, uh, when we have got a meeting, in the UN, it is Secretariat that gets to organize that, right? And also, it registers treaties. That's the Secretary of the UN, right? From the word Secretary, is the one who registers treaties, right? And also, it implements the policies laid down by other organs. For example, the UN Security Council, the General Assembly, right? The ICJ. You get to know what the ICJ is, right? It will be another organ of the of the United Nations, and also. The work of the Secretariat is to interpret speeches and also translate documents in the UN official languages. What does that mean? Remember, the members of the UN come from different, different, uh, different uh, linguistic, linguistic, linguistic countries, right? For example, French, Spanish, English, Swahili. So it's the Secretariat that gets to interpret some of those languages to the UN official languages. And our class, finally, can we get to look at the secretaries of the, uh, secret uh, of the Secretariat who have been the CGs of the UN? Now, the first CG, we get to see, we have got the very known, right? Antonio Wetere, right? He's is, 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 is a Portugal from 2007 to now present. So he's the current UN 
Secretary General Antonio Guterres from Portugal. Also, we have got Pan Ki moon, right? He was a Korean, right? We have got Ban Ki moon from uh, Republic of Korea, which is from 2017, so 2007 and 2016. So, we have just looked at the two CGs of the UN. We have got Antonio Guterres, then you have got Ban Ki moon, 2007, 2008, and 16, sorry. Then finally, we have uh, Kofi Annan. Kofi Annan is very known for mediating Kenya during the 2007-2008 post-election violence. So his term was from 1997 to 2006. However, we have got very many other Secretary Generals. That will be for our assignment, whereby we'll get, we'll get to state the first UN Secretary General who took place in 1945, the first UN Secretary General. And for our reference, get to refer to Evolving World, History and Government, Book 4, the University, Oxford University Press, the seventh edition. And as always, this is Alimu TV, your favorite channel, where we always get to watch and learn.